All right, I was um, reading some of the comments you guys have regarding the knife gig and why I'm still here. <laughs> so I know it sounds like I complain a lot because there's a lot to complain about with this job, but I'm still here because as you can see, this is what it looks like when I'm not actively doing a show. Um, I'm chilling. Yeah, this is where I'm just chilling at Sam's Club. <laughs> I know it sounds bad, and it is bad um, in a lot of ways, the, the job, and it is very stressful because you're working solely on commission. Um, wanted to clarify the draw and how it works for those of you who are still confused. The company basically promises to pay me $400 a week, minimum, um, regardless of how much I make. Um, if I make more than $400, then I can make that extra as long as I don't owe them money. But for every week that I don't make the 400 in sales, that's not 400 total knife sales, but 400 of my earnings, because I only get a, a percentage commission, I get a small amount, I get like $6 per set that I sell. So if I don't make that, then they promise to pay the difference so that I continue to have a salary of $400 a week, which allows me to continue to make child support payments and other bills. That's why I'm still here. But the other thing about this job, it does have some benefits, and right now it has to do with um, knowing, you know, this is my second round here doing this job, so I know the uh, bad things about this job. You know, I'm not like coming in like uh, through rose-colored glasses where you think you're gonna make a lot of money and all that. I know that this job really doesn't pay that much, um, but you can have good days where you can do really well. Um, so far in Daytona, it's been so-so. It hasn't been like the best. But my numbers have started to go back up, although Daytona's kind of low. I think this area is hard to sell. I'm hoping they send me to a better location. But as long as they continue to pay me at least the minimum draw, I'm okay with it. I just owe them money. Now, the other thing I need to clarify is I did find out, because um, I got the actual form to fill out for my reimbursements. Basically, the company has you spending your own money on like tomatoes and bread and hammers and um, balloons and, and everything else you need for the show, but they do reimburse you. You have to save all the receipt and you submit it, you know, at the end of each week or every two weeks or whatever when you fill out your, um, your information so that they'll reimburse you for the mileage and everything else, including all the expenditures. Now, what I found out and... I guess I have got the number wrong, is um, on mileage they actually give you 40 miles that you have to give them each day, not 80 as I thought. So that means that I actually get paid more for the mileage. And um, that's another issue about me not having an issue with them having me go all over the state. Because they do reimburse me for the mileage. It's just that uh, during the initial three weeks before I got paid, I have to expend money that I don't have. And that's where the, the issue came from. But now that I've gotten my check, I'm still a little bit behind. Um, after this next check, I should be okay. I should be able to be consistent as far as buying supplies as needed, um, driving around where I need to because I have some money coming in. And I will have caught up on a lot of my back stuff that I owe, you know, like child support and other things. Child support will take a long time to catch up, but it is my hope to um, try to pay as much of that down as I can. Um, as far as this job itself, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay here, you know. Um, my plan right now is to be open about it. If they continue to keep their commitment of paying the draw, like they said, regardless of the situation, I can see myself staying here, um, despite all the negative stuff about this job. Um, the reason for that is, um, this time coming in versus last time, the um, YouTube has actually become a viable um, second job, kind of. You know, I I know a lot of you keep asking, you know, if I patron, if I would do super chats and try to get money through that or go fund me and all that. Um, I generally try to stay away from that because I don't think that um, asking viewers for money is really that cool. <laughs> and a lot of my viewers I know are in um, not the best situation. A lot of the viewers are also, in, you know, living in a van or cutting down on their budget and trying to scale back. So I don't really expect or want my viewers to send me their money, even though some do because they're just kind. You know, you can't, somebody's kind, they're kind. And if they decide to send something, I accept it with gratitude. But I also understand that, um, you know, they're doing it out of the kindness of their heart. You know, they're just 
good people, great people actually. Like certain people on here have contacted me and pretty much told me if I need anything, you know, let them know and if they can get some money or whatever together, they would try to send it to me. Not a promise, but just, you know, back up for me in case I had an absolute emergency. I generally try not to ask people for money because I know that they need their money too and they're not exactly like, um, you know, rich or anything like that. They're just offering it because that's the kind of person they are. They're kind people. But as far as this job itself, um, I don't know if you've seen, I've been traveling across the state and even though that's stressful on myself as well as the car and the family and stuff, um, I believe it's helping the channel a little bit, you know, until I can get enough money to actually travel across the United States. Um, so having the ability to somewhat visit different parts of the state of Florida actually can help this channel. And I'm, you know, I've been working adamantly to keep the content updated and uploaded in case you haven't seen um, this go round. I didn't stop uploading and stuff, even though it has been extremely difficult. Sometimes it's hard to get internet when you're out on the road, especially when you have to do a, a show, you know, every day pretty much um, when you're not off. And now I have to balance between the show, the uh, traveling, and the family. So um, it's a balance that I'm still trying to work out. But in the meantime, so far I've been able to maintain the YouTube, which is kind of slowed down a little bit, but it's still kind of growing slowly. So those of you who have been tracking me and kind of watching and giving advice and suggestions and stuff, it is finally starting to pay off. I think um, some people more than a year ago saw this channel and saw the potential for it and suggested and recommended that I keep going, keep going, despite um, how hard it is to actually keep the channel alive um, and now we're like at more than 5,000 viewers and growing daily not as fast as some of the other channels but to be honest I didn't think we would ever reach even more than 500 people you know so to be at um, more than 5,000 after I think we're still under two years this is just like amazing for me I just got a text from um, the other co-worker and it is my turn to be up so I better go put on another show but that's the other thing that you need to understand is that um, I don't stand up there and work the entire eight hours it's actually like um, when I have another person here working with me I actually get half of the time kind of off where I'm just walking around Sam's Club and sitting around at the sofa um, maybe walking around and sampling the different type of foods that they have you know how the Sam's Club has all those demonstrations and you can get like free food, free samples. So those are some of the benefits of it. Um, and the other thing is this, in case you haven't figured out, I really do enjoy people. So being able to do a show where I'm able to go up and talk to people and actually have fun demonstrating a really, oops, excuse me, demonstrating a really cool product is a plus, it's a bonus, you know? So that's another plus of this job. And um, I'm back here at the knife thingy. So I'm going to go ahead and um, sign out for now. Until next time, everybody, I thank you for tuning in. Maybe I'll go ahead and do another little episode just to let you know what's going on. And um, Hey, we're actually broadcasting right now. I got two. <laughs> Woo! And my partner, do you want to be on it? Two. Do you want to be on it? <laughs> do you want to be on there to, so the fans can see well, you or not? I'm wanted. Yeah, okay. I can't show my, uh, I can't show my partner because she's afraid of stalkers. I, I so. get them, especially <laughs> so, in this area. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and sign out because i got to get going. And I um, want to thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, everybody, I hope you're having a great day.